Hey, hey, hey everyone, my name is Nolan, and welcome back to another episode of the Calamity mod, and I have been having so much fun playing this mod that um, I just can't stop playing it, and I am in the middle of Slime Raid, Rain, not Raid, so what that means is that I am going to be fighting King Slime right off the bat to this episode, and I did make a lot of progress, as you guys can tell since the last episode, but that, again, it was just miscellaneous progress, like mining, looting, and building. Um, however, I got two new mods. I think it's just two. I have um, automatic doors, so now doors open automatically and stuff like that. And also, uh, which was the one that I was looking for, because uh, it's just so annoying having to manually do doors. And then also, another one I got is... Oh, <laughs> the Alchemist mod. Meaning that I can now get potions, I can just buy potions. And honestly, I'm going to go back home really quick and see if I can just do some depositing before um, I do the King Slime fight. Because, yeah, so the Alchemist mod, um, if I go over here to this NPC, her name is Lucy, I go to shop and I can buy a ton of potions, it's super cool. And yeah, so I wanted that in the mod. And then also, magic storage is looking really good. I'm going to quickly transfer everything in here and um one thing i needed to do which i forgot before i started this episode was make uh platinum bars <laughs> but i can just do that in a jump cut which is totally fine i am now going to do a jump cut to the king slime fight and then we will get all our upgrades out of the way for this episode because i didn't do any of that off camera and yeah just any miscellaneous crafting we need to do or just and then we also need to go to that uh what's it called the the depths, the aquatic depths, is that the place I need to go to? I'm going to look it up really quick just so I get it down for sure because I honestly can't remember what it was. Okay, so I just looked and it's actually the sunken sea biome. Aquatic depths is thorium, <laughs> which I do actually want to play also. However, I don't think it's going to be nearly as fun. And this is currently how I farm in this game. I sit in this little ditch here and just farm. Um, ooh, yes, blue slime. I will place this blue slime banner right there. And yeah, I this is really boring. I'm just gonna be farming slime, nothing exciting. So I'll just wait till King Slime spawns. All right, King Slime has awoken. It's time to kill this foo very quick here. Um, shouldn't be that hard. Ooh, I'd like to go get that re or iron skin potion just just to have it. We'll buff up. We'll take that really quick. I definitely shouldn't need it at all. Um, I'm really not too worried about this fight in the slightest, especially because I have dash. Um, yeah, except the dash is going to be annoying when I hit all these blue slimes. But I don't think King Slime does that much damage, but I don't really want to test it either. Um, mana is... I'm not going to worry about mana, of course, because I can just kill the blue slimes and get more mana. Um, yeah, look at this. Already 30% already health. This fight, I'd say, is honestly the most difficult one I've done, just judging by how much damage I've taken. <laughs> um, but other than that, it's really not that bad. And also, it's not teleporting at all. Is that like a newer feature? Um, because usually it would like teleport like right on you and this fight is literally just dodging on the ground Okay, yeah, so it does do quite a bit of damage, but that's literally it. Yeah, see it's supposed to be doing that teleporting thing all the time What the heck is that? Well, we beat it instantly just like that. Okay, so let's go back home really really quickly and Let's look at some of the new stuff. I got so of course calamity mod also or alchemist mod I also upgraded my plants there on the side. I got Shiver Thorn and Deathweed, and I have to add, I think there's one more. I don't know. Um, but yeah, accessories. Oh, my Hermes boots were not on, but I have warding Hermes boots now, as opposed to the ones I had before. Otherwise, that's it. I upgraded my axe to the superior war axe, um, or it's just a war axe, but the modifier is superior. And then I also upgraded my pickaxe to the gold pickaxe. And then I think that's literally all the upgrading I did. I got a lot of wood because I bought it from one of the NPCs. And so, yes. Also, also, diamond hook. I got that instead of the spider hook. Okay, what's this? Consumable. Contains blueprints of a random pre-hard mode accessory. Okay, well, how do I open it? Use to unlock. Um, okay. Unlock. You found the accessory for a blueprint. You can ask Tinkerer. Okay, where is the Tinkerer? Oh, I think, I think this is the Tinkerer, because I have a counter right now. So yeah, that's probably how I get those. I'm not going to worry about that. 
Okay, let's just deposit, actually I'll put this solidifier in the crafting area, and I will deposit all of this. And before I get crafting, oh, also I got more life crystals, so I'm just going to use those up really quick. And before I get crafting, I'm going to use all this slush I got and convert it into ore so I can get the new, or not the new, but the better platinum rod staff thing. You've got to be kidding me. Blood Moon? I already did one of these. I just did one of these. Okay, I'm, I'm just going to cut to the daytime because I don't want to farm another one of these. Okay, well that Blood Moon was just a pain because that just took up a lot of time, but... There are a few upgrades I want to make. So the first one is I want to make an upgrade to this staff, which honestly might not be an upgrade at this point because this is godly, but I should be able to make a um, diamond staff. <laughs> Why can I? Oh, I was not in the crafting. Diamond staff. Yes, I can make it. Yes. All right. Good modifier. Keen. Honestly, I don't think that's even better than what I have. <laughs> yeah, no, it's not. It's not even an upgrade. Okay, well, I guess then I'm going with the the gold the, the ruby staff, that's what it is, not not gold. Alright, next up is another magic weapon that I saw on the wiki called the I don't even know what it's called. It's called the Frostbolt. Okay, so this is a very easy weapon to craft, so I just thought I would craft it and it's magic and manic. I mean that's decent. It's 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 got a significant mana reduction, so I guess I can't complain too much. But I could actually just craft another one. Okay, so I'm now just gonna make a couple of them. Uh, bolt is the frost bolt, um, and we'll just see which one I can get out of the or what's the best modifier I get. So regular frost bolt. Then we got murderous. So that's probably the best one I'm gonna get, and then I'll make one more with the w last. Oh, I don't actually have enough. Oh, is there? A a shiver thorn ready? Oh, I think that is one. Give me shiver thorn. Yes. I don't even care. It didn't give me the seed. I just wanted a shiver thorn so I can make one more and see what I get out of that. All right, bolt. Let's just craft it really quick. One more and craft strong. Okay, so the best one I got out of that was definitely murderous. So I'm just going to shop and sell. I'll sell the strong one. This is it. It is a material, right? So I'll keep. I'll keep the weakest one. Sell that. Shift, shift click, okay, shift click, boom, and then I'll keep the other one as a material, and I'll just use this really quick. Yeah, this this ought to be really good against uh, boss fights, or certain boss fights at least. Okay, and I think that was all I needed to craft. I think I could be wrong, and I could forget something. Oh, also one thing I mentioned or wanted to mention is I fought this desert scourge several times and didn't get anything out of it, uh, or any magic weapons at least. I tried to get the magic weapon, I fought it like six, seven times, I didn't get it. So these are what I'm going to settle with in terms of weapons. Um, I'm trying to reorganize my inventory so I actually like it. <laughs> so I got the frost bolt now, and then we got the godly ruby staff, which I had. And yeah, I guess now the one thing I need to do is get that accessory, which made water enemies friendly, which I think is just this. Yeah, right here. I'll just take one of those, and I'll bring that with me on the expedition that I'm about to go on. Boom. Okay, cool. Let's go, let's go to the aquatic depths. Jump cut till we're there. Oh, also, pet dinosaur. How cool is that? I got that from the extractinator. Okay, I am now here, so I should be able to break in, hopefully. Yes, okay, I can actually break in. And I don't know what it even is I'm supposed to get here, but it looks like this is different here. What is this? Euphoric sand? Okay, I don't think I need the sand, but I, I'm assuming I'm gonna need these crystals. Um... And I wish there was a way to know what I needed before I actually came here. I probably should have looked into that a little bit. But I'll just uh, grab all these weird shard thingies. And what is this? Do I need this? No. Okay, I'm going to break into here. And hopefully I should be able to break this ore. Okay, so this is Sea Prism. So I can mine this. And honestly, guys, do you think it's cheating if I get the Vein Miner mod? Um, I, I don't know. I, I see, you know, guys, you guys may know Chippy's Couch. He's kind of the one that got me into YouTube. Um, he uses Vein Miner. Is that, like, cheating? I don't know. I feel like that it would definitely come in handy in situations like this, where I'm just mining and it's boring. Yeah, I'm probably gonna get Vein Miner. Oh! Oh! We're in a boss fight. Where's Giant Clam at? Where is it? Oh, there he is! This is one of the bosses I need to fight, so I'm going to fight it. 
And uh, my gills potion ran out apparently, so I'm going to rebuff. And this thing is easy. Oh, it teleported. Okay, it does a lot of damage. Alrighty then. This is not a problem at all. We're good. I'm out. I'm out of mana. Uh, it does a lot of damage. That shouldn't matter too much though. I'm just gonna sit here. Okay, let's kill. Let's kill his little minions, and we'll get some mana from it. Hopefully, out of the way. I couldn't. I couldn't move in time. No, I'm just stuck here. Oh, we're about to kill it though. All right, dodge. There we go. Cool. So apparently this thing just spawns in. Oh, what? Who is this? Oh, we got some stuff in here. Okay, I'll go through that later, but I will buy a gills potion, honestly, because I'm almost out. Um, oh, any of these magic? Oh, way washer. Um, okay, okay, I'll, I'll probably use that a little bit. Is it better than... I'll actually just use it for now, um, but I don't know if I'm going to keep it, because I don't know how good it's going to be. But we got unpleasant, so... I'll use it. I also got guys. I just went and installed vein mo miner modder vein vein miner. So I wanted to see how how it, I use that. <laughs> um, I'm new to this whole modded thing. Okay, guys. But yeah, this gills potion doesn't last long, and I just realized I can use this as a gills potion. <laughs> I'm in. I'm a slow guys. Okay, I'm not the I'm not the smartest guy in the sea. Okay. Okay. Is this an enemy here? Die. Oh, it's an enemy of some kind. But now it's friendly because I'm wearing this thing. This thing takes a while to die. And did you give me anything? Nope, nothing of use. Oh wait, I got prism shards, okay. Okay, so I want to go down here to the center because this looks very interesting. Oh, I forgot I just took my double jump off. Come on, let me up, let me up. Here we go. I wish I had sea flippers for this. Okay, testing vein miner. Dang it, it's not working. Okay, let me try this. Yeah! I, I figured it out, guys. Oh, look at how satisfying that is. Come on, you gotta admit, that was pretty satisfying. Maybe it was worth technically cheating in the in the long run. I can't talk, guys. I, I have the same problem I had when recording the last video. I just can't talk. Okay, hold this down. Main mine. Ooh. Yeah, that is cool. I like that a lot. Cool. Well, I guess then I can just gather up a lot of these crystals, and do I have anywhere else I can mine I guess over there but I can go down more so I mean I guess I might as well go down more right and I'm gonna grab a lot of these prism shards while I'm on the way and then there is another ore thing over there I can go was that a life crystal I think that was a life crystal over there I don't care at the moment I want this stuff I want to get as much of this stuff as I can so I don't have to come back here this place is cool but I just don't want to have to come back if I don't have to Ooh, look at that. That was cool. Okay, you guys might need to let me know in the comments if there's anything special about this biome, because I don't think there is. I'm not seeing anything. It's just kind of a unique Calamity biome um, that has a boss called the Clam. <laughs> Giant Clam, at least. Get up there. Come on. Come on. There we go. Look at the water graphics, though. Can we just appreciate the water graphics really quick? Like, honestly, they're sick. Okay, I'm just going to dip... Um, I have a lot of prism shards and sea prisms. I have almost 600, so I'm just going to dip. And giant clam is no longer after you? Well, good. I didn't want him to be. And honestly, this thing, I might I might actually just have all these magic weapons up here. And I'll just move all these down one, because I don't actually want that magic mirror in my hotbar, because I accidentally teleport back to spawn when I do that. Um, so yeah. Oh, I need to put the cloud in a bottle back on. There we go. And let's see here what I can make with this stuff here. And I think my auto pause, yep, auto pause, there we go. Okay, navy stone first, what can I make? Um, ooh, can I actually open my recipe browser up and do this this way? Navy stone, what can I make? Okay, so it looks like I can make a ton of stuff. It looks like there's a bunch of crafting things here. Okay, and it looks like navy stone, okay, that's just material. Aquamarine staff. Okay, so I can make. Oh, that that looks like an upgrade to what I have. Okay, okay. So I'm actually probably just. Oh wait, wait. Oh wait, sorry. That's that's what that turns into. Okay, go back, go back. Okay, so I can make this, and I probably will because that 
is supposed to be an upgrade to what I have, I'm pretty sure. And then, does it make armor? C Prism, what do you make? What the? That's a developer item? Well, I don't need that. Ooh, that's a rogue weapon. Ah, dang it. Okay, well, I don't actually think I can make that anyway, because I don't know... Where do those come from? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, C Prism, do you make anything? Okay. Well, I'm glad that I got Sea Prism, because it looks like I'm going to need these quite a bit. Oh, so I can make armor. Where do I get Mollusk Husks? Is that from the Giant Clam? Okay, so first, I'm going to make an upgrade. I'm going to make the upgrade to that, uh, to the staff that I have. So, let's see here. Um, what is it called? Staff? Is it a staff? Is it... Yes, Aquamarine Staff. We want to make the one with that. Okay. Uh, craft it. Boom. No. Oh, see, I need to put all my stuff in here. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. And then transfer all. Boom, 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 boom. King Slime. Okay, I don't need that. Okay, let's uh, craft this really quick. Boom, boom. Broken. Okay. Oh, that's going to be so cool, too. Actually, wait. What I could do is I could make a couple of them. But I just don't know if I really want to. I mean, I guess I could make some golden ruby staffs. I'll make one. And um, put that in the chest. And then I'll make one more aquamarine staff. With this. Deadly. That's a lot better. And I'm honestly going to replace it with the godly staff. Oh, except that's so much more damage, bro. Why does it do so much more damage? Because this base damage is 16. Oh, no, it's 25. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Okay, I'll just try try them both out, because this one actually shoots two, so it might be better. Okay, guys, well, I still have a lot of time this episode, so let's just hear what the next box is. Crabulon. Let's hear, how do we summon this? Spawn info. Use a blank in the mushroom biome. This is... How do I get this? Um, oh, I need 50 mushrooms, so I might need to go collect those really quick. Because I definitely don't think I have that many mushrooms. Oh, I have 41. I'm almost there. Okay. A toxic downpour. Okay, we don't need to worry about that. Okay, so I'm going to have to do another cut again. I'm sorry. But I will go get those mushrooms and we'll do another boss. Because I we, we're just so powerful already that we just kind of need to do bosses. I mean, the Frostbolt will probably be able to take this thing down easily. So, yeah, let's just cut. We'll get those mushrooms and I'll fight the boss. Oh, also... I found this weird building thing while it's caving, and I don't think I'm supposed to go in there yet. There's, like, weird laser thingies. Um, so yeah, if you guys could let me know if you know anything, if I'm supposed to go in there or not, that would be great. Okay, guys, well, the mushroom biome I was at was flooded, so I was trying to drain it, and in the process of draining it, I found another one that isn't flooded. So I was just gonna, uh, do the crab fight here, and I just need to clear out these monsters really quick. And actually, I've been using this, um... Aqua Scepter, uh, Aqua Marine Scepter, that's what it is. And I think it is better than the Ruby Staff because not only does it fire two bolts, but it also fires significantly quicker. So yeah, but I think for this fight, I'm going to use the Frost Bolt. But I just wanted to check here what was inside this room. A Flare Gun. Well, I don't really want any of this except for maybe the Night Vision Potions and also the Torches. And yeah, literally all, I, all the buffs I got was an Iron Skin and a regen potion so yeah uh we're just gonna buff up i guess and we'll take the night owl potion which i did take okay and we're gonna do this fight once that bat dies come on hit me there we go boom okay it almost spawned right on us all right i'm just gonna lay down fire with this frost bolt yeah look at how much damage we do bro it ain't even funny okay i'm just gonna like regen really quick i'm gonna lay down these frost bolts everywhere actually Whoa, that was dangerous. I should not have left a hole there. I'm actually going to use this Aqua Scepter. I feel like, honestly, that would be better. Because the Frost Bolt um, just doesn't have, like, that good... Oh, I got stuck there. I got stuck there. I got stuck. Let me out. Let me out. Oh, that was... <laughs> the most damage I've taken is fall damage, bro. Uh, but as I was saying, the Frost Bolt, the Ricochet, is just not that good. It only bounces one time. So you kind of got to, like, actually hit. You got to be, like, good. Um, you can't just, like, spam it everywhere like you can the Water Bolt, which, I mean, I guess isn't that bad. I mean, it's a weapon you can get right at spawn. Like, you don't need anything special. Let me out of here. I can't get out of here. I'm just gonna die here now. Okay, I guess I just have to spam here. Alright, Crabulon, die. 
Come on. Die. Okay, I'll finish you off with a star fruit. There we go. Okay, see, that was easy. Easy peasy. And I don't know if I got anything special. doesn't matter. I'm honestly just going to farm this really quick. Why not? We'll fight it again. I love how in Calamity Mod, you can get infinite uses on the spawning thingies. Because I can just farm this as many times as I want. And, dang it. Okay, let me out of here. Let me out of here. I, I'm just stuck inside of it. I can't move. What the heck happened there? Come on. Come on, Calamity. You should be better than that. Yeah, I'm literally just going to spray this thing and kill it. Boom. Die. Am I even doing... Like, would this do Would this do more damage? I can't tell. Get out of there. Get out of there. I think I think that the Frostbolt would do more damage just because of these things. But I don't know for sure. What is that? Is that a... That's not a part of the boss fight. I'm an idiot. Mana Star. Die. Come on. Die. Die. Why don't you die? There we go. Coolio. Alright, let's see here. Uh, do I have anything interesting right off the bat? Ooh. Shoomerang. That's a rogue weapon? Wow. Oh, boomerangs are rogue in this game. That's cool. Oh, the fungal clump. Oh, this thing is really good. I remember that. And we got some claws. Wow. That thing fires quick. Okay, so I bet that we can get a magic weapon out of this. Let me look it up really quick. Yeah, we can. So I'm just going to farm this until I get it. <laughs> and I want, the, I want the magic weapons, bro. But this fight, this fight is actually harder than the other ones. I'll admit but I still am not really struggling at all, especially because, you know, I'm a newer player to PC Terraria, so you think that I would be struggling in boss fights, but nope, this is really not that hard at all. Well, guys, I got it. Um, I don't know if it's going to be any good, because it just creates mushroom spores near the player, so, like, it's really only good, like, for if I'm, like, close, and it looks like it barely even does... Yeah, I don't really know how much I'm going to like that, but... I have it if I ever need it for any reason whatsoever. Okay, so I definitely want this fungal clump because I think it's really, really good. Um, I don't know what to put it on for. Maybe the defense rover, honestly. Um, and I'm just going to sell a bunch of this crap. I got a Krabulon mask. I definitely don't need that. Are any of these materials for anything? So I know I need to keep them. Um, doesn't look like it. Oh, we got a Krabulon trophy. Let's just smack that down right there, shall we? Okay, I'm going to store all of this stuff. My Celio Claws, Fungal Clump, uh, Krabulon Mask, that. Mm, and then all these are duplicates. And honestly, I'm probably not going to use that. Okay, then we got some of these to open. Um, we're going to get some accessories. Boom. Okay, so I should be able to go to one of these dudes over here. I can't remember which one it was. Was it you? Was it you? Were you the dude? Were, was it you? Oh, yeah. So we can buy. We can now just buy freaking accessories. Let me let me see all the accessories you can buy. Movement. Oh, this is awesome. Oh, my gosh. So I can just buy these. Unfortunately, I need, um, I need a Tinker's Workshop before I can do any of that. But that's cool. I like that. All right. Now I'm just going to sell this because I don't need them. And yeah, I think I'm going to wrap up the video there. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. We got a lot done this episode, and I can't wait to start next episode. Um, I'm actually probably going to get rid of the Frost Bolt because I was looking at the stats, and the Ruby Staff is currently the highest DPS magic weapon that I have. So I'm definitely going to keep that, though, because I need that uh, Frost Bolt. But I'm going to take back the Ruby Staff because, as you guys can see, 54 DPS that is currently the highest I have. So yeah, thank you guys all for watching. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to stick around and subscribe for part two. Or not part two. Wow, I'm totally going TikToker mode. I think part four is what we're going to be on. So yeah, if you guys want to see that, subscribe and turn on notifications. And ooh, DPS meter. I'm going to buy that because I feel like I'm going to need that. And yeah, again, thank you all for watching. And I will just see you guys all in the next video. Peace. Peace.